Arduino-based traffic light system is presented in this video. LEDs which are used to simulate the traffic lights are interfaced with the Arduino via two 74595 shift registers. Let's have a look at the components used in this project. We have two 74595 uh, shift registers interfaced with the Arduino using only three digital pins. We have 10 LEDs connected to the 74595 using 10 output data lines. And we have a switch here which is connected to a digital pin of the Arduino. The system is made of two traffic lights and each traffic light has its pedestrian lights. For the Go, blue LEDs are used instead of green LEDs. During the off position of the switch, the traffic light operates normally and when the switch is turned on, the traffic light goes into inoperational mode where the red stop LEDs will start blinking. Now for a quick demo. The detailed functionality of the traffic light system will be explained shortly using a flowchart. When the switch is turned on, the traffic lights become inoperational and the stop lights begin to blink. This is the flowchart describing the traffic light system. The switch is checked for open or closed. If the switch is open, it means we have normal traffic light operations. In the first stage of a traffic light system, which lasts for 8 seconds, the, for the first uh, traffic light, uh, the stop signal is on and the pedestrians uh, walk. And for the second traffic light, uh, we have the, the go signal is on and the pedestrians stop. In the second stage of the traffic light operation, which lasts for three seconds, for the first traffic light, the stop signal is still on and here the uh, pedestrians stop and for the second traffic light the yellow signal turns on and the pedestrians stop. Stages uh, 3 and 4 are similar to 1 and 2 but the operations are reversed between traffic light 1 and traffic light 2. While the switch is open these operations are continuously executed until the switch is closed. While the switch is closed, the traffic light 1 and 2 become inoperational and the stop signal and the don't walk signal will blink. This is the C++ code. Here we have a one-dimensional array which has the, uh, the binary patterns required uh, for the four stages of the traffic light uh, operation. Inside the loop function, we have a for loop that will loop four times to go through the four stages of the traffic light operation. Inside the loop, the first thing we do is check the status of the switch. If the switch is closed, then we call this function inoperational. Otherwise, we call the function operational. If the switch is closed, then this function is called, and within the function, we blink the stop signals of both traffic lights. If the switch is open, then this function is called and within the function we send the required traffic light signals uh, depending at what stage uh, the operation is at. In a future video, the traffic light system will be modified to be more adaptive based on traffic conditions. Thank you for watching.